Hello everyone, we are here, we are starting Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light. I have never played this game before. It got recommended to me a while back. But uh, I never got around to it. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. I hope you guys are as well and that you guys enjoy it. Ah, it's okay, it'll be on YouTube, Helldog. So this is our first character. This stout-hearted village youth doesn't know uh, much about etiquette, but he knows right from wrong. He likes to take the lead with robust cheer. Some people enjoy his enthusiasm, but others think he's just pushy. So we're going to call this one Sasserite, because that's true for me in all cases. Name him Slib. This village youth has been spending quite a lot of time in the castle lately. He is pragmatic and as sharp as attack, but he can also be childish and for some people a pain in the neck. So we're gonna call this one silly. This dutiful lady warrior of the castle can always be relied upon to carry out our orders. Her sharp eyes rarely miss a trick, but sometimes she stresses too much over the small stuff. So this will be Pia because she stresses a lot over the small stuff. However, her eyes aren't sharp as attack because uh, she wears glasses, so clearly this is an issue there. <laughs> you don't know anybody who thinks I'm pushy? This castle princess is bright, cheerful, and loves to talk. She can raise spirits and bring parties to life in the direst of situations. On the other hand, everyone agrees that she is completely self-centered. But then again, she would be being a princess and all. Okay, maybe we should name this one Pia. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's call this one Trife. Kidding. I just wanted to see Trice's response. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm not cheerful, that's true. That is, that is true. We'll call this one... There's no other ladies in the personality. <laughs> ladies in the personality. There's no other ladies in the stream that I'm aware of right now. Let's call it... <laughs> He doesn't mind. Okay, we're gonna call her Trey. I could call her Mira, that's true, but we're gonna call her Drive. Accessory? Wake up, Cesare! Come on, lazy bones, it's time you were up and about! Not yet. What? Why are you getting up if you said not yet? <sighs> Just another half hour, okay? Today's the day you've, you've officially become a grown-up, or have you forgotten? You have to go to the castle and pay your respects to the king! Yeah, because apparently that's something that happens in most fantasy worlds. Grown-ups go and pay their respects to the king on their birthday. Trife, you've been here almost every day since I started. There's a bird on the table. Oh, wow. Cesare! Cesare! Anyway, you've been here since the beginning, so... Well, not the beginning, but for a long time. I think you've earned a few characters named after you. However, I do try to name, uh, get the names around. What are you waiting for? Today's the day you've officially become a grown-up! You have to go to the castle and pay your respects to the king. Take the pass straight through the back of the town to the castle. And no dilly-dallying on the way, on the way. Fuck you, I'll do what I want. This king doesn't know me. I don't know the king. Ah, oh, long grass. We're gonna run into Pokemon. What is this art style? This is very strange. What kind of abilities do I have? I don't have any. Ah! Oh, Slib would put you to... Slib would destroy you with your three strength. Slib was at least 110 times stronger than you.
I said, Trife, you were here for a long time, like every day since then, practically. I think you've earned a name or two after you. Kiora is quite the woman. She raised you all by herself. Thanks! That's a bit of a weird thing to say to someone. I'm sure I saw spellbooks in the castle, but magic is forbidden in Horn, so it must have been my imagination. What the hell are you doing? Is that a scarecrow? That's a scarecrow. Now you go on this person's house. Resting at an inn is very refreshing. You can replenish all your AP and HP at once. Well, that's good to know. I like replenishing all my HP and AP, especially at once. This is an odd art style. Well, I don't dislike it though. If you're going to fight monsters, be sure to equip weapons. You can do it by selecting items on your menu. Okay, let's do that. So far, I have Sassare's Togs. Defense plus one and magic defense plus one. <laughs> Slip would prevent any Dragon Quest game, yes. Hey look, I know this guy. I'm nothing but a simple adventurer who travels the world seeking new places to visit. The fox here is my faithful companion. At some point, you will want to save your game. Come talk to me when you do. Hmm? How about now? Do you want to save your game? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. Your game is saved. Do you wish to continue adventuring? Yes. At this time, I do wish to continue adventuring. That's what the sound, uh, that's what sound the fox makes. That's what the fox says. Hello, Cesare. Here for some shopping. You may buy something new or sell something old. The choice is yours. Alright, so I get potions. Oh, look at that. I don't have any gold, though. I got a torch. Lights your way in the darkest of dungeons. Oh, sweet. Dragon wing. Teleport you back to town instantly. So it's like a chimera wing. Steel sword. Horn's bow. A wood shield. Doesn't look wood to me. Defense plus one. Magic defense one. Evade. Magic evade plus three. Okay. So we can't buy any of that. Thank you. Please come again. Monsters drop gens, which you can sell for a tidy profit. A tidy profit. These house layouts are strange. That's right! Today's your birthday, isn't it? What a fine young man you've become! Here's a present for you! Take care out there! You have received a flask of potion. That's a realistic sunny dog. If you're going to the North Caves, don't forget to take a torch. I'll do whatever I want. The more dangerous monsters roam at night. When you get into trouble, hurry back to town and take a rest. Hello, Cesare. Finally awake, are you? To reach the castle, keep going on this path towards the back of town. Hello, Cesare. Do you want to stay in our humble little inn? It'll cost you ten gil a night. Sound good? Come back anytime. Unless you don't have money, in which case you're not allowed. Man, that's a terrible room. So definitely an odd art style for the game. Oh, I got a torch. It pays off to just go clicking on things. That room seems like it'd be rather cramped. Sometimes when I slay a monster, I get all psyched up. You know that feeling? No. This isn't Dragon Quest. You don't get psyched up in Final Fantasy. I wonder if you can find all the treasure hidden in this town. Probably not. Hmm, looks like you found one of my eight hidden treasures. Is there one in your house? I don't care. I probably can't find all eight hidden treasures because it requires me to run around hitting, pressing a, the A button. I don't want to do that. No one wants to do that. The gems you take from monsters are very powerful. Are they? 
Horn became a center of agriculture after the magic was banned from the realm. There's also a distinct lack of males in this town. Or well, they're all outside. The lady's just not allowed to leave. You can only carry 15 items at once, so you need to manage your inventory. Fuck that! Oh, I hate limit limited inventory. Here at the storage shop, we look after your surplus items. You don't carry everything with you. Why only 15? That's like such a small amount. If you're going far, I would suggest you buy a dragon wing or two. I once saw a giant monster like a bull or something over in the North Caves. Slain monsters sometimes drop gems, but I suppose you already know that, don't you? Yeah, for the four other people that told me in this town. It's also a really odd thing to say to someone that just walked into your house. Hey, a dragon wing. So apparently this guy's hiding stuff in other people's houses. Silly has always been a handful, even when he was a wee one. Young Sesame, if you're going to go adventuring, as I suspect you will, this little bottle could be a lifesaver. Another flask of potion. Do you want to play a multiplayer game? What? No. I don't want to play a multiplayer game. Nobody wants to play multiplayer games. Maybe I'll unlock a bigger bag later. I hope so. 15 items is shit. It's a terrible amount. If you keep going towards the back of town, you'll reach the castle. Just stay on this path and you can't miss it. That said, like I said, this game is um, apparently very difficult. There's a sheep. At least the beginning of it. Sheep are the pride of our realm. First, pat the, the sheep's nose. Second, stroke the right flank. Third, stroke the left flank. Last, tug the tail. That's the way to handle sheep. Why would you tug its tail? It does not approve of any of that. The sign described the proper way to take care of sheep. Read it well. What if I don't want to read it well? What if your definition of reading it well is different from mine? It's locked. Well, don't lock it. I kind of like how the map works in this. To be recognized as a grown-up, you must attend a formal audience with the king. Are you here to see the king, Sasuke? You'd better behave yourself, then. Clearly, the king already knows who I am, or at least his men do. Yeah, try if you agree. Li imitation lim uh, uh, inventory limitation is the worst. Careful AP management, that's action voice, to you layman, is the key to battle. Use boost when you can. The new recruits are still wet behind the ears. I'm not sure they're ready for a mission outside the castle. They're probably not. If you feel that way, there's probably a good reason for it. She must be one heck of a witch to have the king shaken in fear like he is. Okay. I got a wood shield, look at that. I got a potion, look at that. I'm sure the king will be pleased that I went into his castle and before seeing him, I just robbed him. Okay, not technically robbing, because... Maybe it's 15 items per person? Because that's a little more Dragon Questy, and I, I can get behind that. Sorry, but no buttons beyond this point. It's locked. Of course it is. Another potion. Oh, what's for breaky, mommy? Hmm. It's a reassuring thing for a guard to be asking. 
I want to see what the battle style is like in this game, though. Look at this horse statue. Yeah, this is four heroes of light, silly. At least Princess Carino is safe. We must be thankful for small mercies. Safe? What are you talking about? Well, it is his birthday. That means something bad in the kingdom must have happened. This is Princess Trife's room. You're not allowed in here. Well, why are you hanging out in there? I get you're a cleaner, but... These were once the Queen's Chambers. Even now, I still look after them every day. She has anything for me to steal? Apparently not. Oh, uh, yeah, it's for DS. Oh, it's you, Sasare! Gracious, you nearly gave me a heart attack? It's the king's bedroom. So nobody complains if I go into the king's bedroom, but they complain if I go into the princesses. Interesting. You make sure you're on the best behavior when you're in the presence of the king. You know what really gets me psyched up? A monster hurting my friends, that's what. Please, that's right. Won't you save my sister, Trife? Princess Trife brings joy to the court. Her smile lights up the castle. <laughs> Sorry. How dare she! That witch threatens not just me, but my beloved Trife too! Why, if I... Ah, uh, is that you, Cesare? Good, good. I'm glad you're here. The Witch of the North has carried my Trife away. Cesare, will you please help your old king? Go to the Witch's Mansion in the North and see what's happening. I sent my soldiers, but none have returned. Nope. Are you kidding? If your soldiers can't... Are, are you kidding? If your soldiers can't do anything, how am I supposed to help? Very well, do as you please. <laughs> There's no but that must, he just agrees and I'll send you away. Leave it to me, that mansion lies beyond the caves in the north. Should be easy to get to. Splendid! I knew I could count on you. Yeah, this might come in handy. Oh, a steel sword. Excellent. Alright, guys. Let's get uh, e items equipped here. There we go, now we got attack plus two. Now he has more than zero attack power. I didn't expect the king to give in so easy. Alright. back to town we'll save at this dude again because why not hello red-coated adventure with a pet fox yeah the animation in this is pretty cute but we still yet to see what the fights are like Okay, I see why right there. I get nine more EXP. Okay, let's see what the fighting is like. Do a little bit of grinding here to get some levels before I start actually progressing. Ah, uh, it is random battle. Imp appears! We can attack, we can boost. Oh, it hit me by one. Fuck you. Oh, I got destroyed. I got one EXP. Ah, uh, it's nighttime now. I fought one battle and it's already nighttime. Alright, well, this is strong monsters come out at night, so let's see what's out here at night. Let's see me get destroyed. You may pick this up. Ragnarok 
his assistant called Friends with Benefits. Oh, it's a falcon. Alright, let's try this. Oh, it hits harder than the amp. Oh, it lived. Oh, I missed. You fucker. What? Don't dive! Oh, there you go. I got three XP for that. And a gem. Playing it for fun it would be a good idea. This game looks like it's gonna be pretty excellent. It takes roughly... I don't know how long to beat. I haven't beat this game. As you know, it is my full playthrough. A jack-lantern? He just stabbed me with a fork and a knife! What an asshole! So I'm just getting a level here, uh, or two before I move on. I don't like starting a game and just running into content. I like to get some levels and be powerful. Kick some ass. It's a very cute art style though, I like it. The white bar? Well, it's either gonna be above or below, so unfortunately. There, how's that? Ah, it missed. Eat shit, Imp. Gotcha. It kind of reminds me of uh, that game for D or um, Nintendo 64. Uh, Yoshi Story, I think it was called. Okay, we got two EXP, and then we're gonna go to the end. There we go, that should level us. Level up! HP plus two, strength plus one, spirit plus one, int plus one. Aw, oh, man. Can I go rest at my house, or do I have to go to the inn? Because if they make me stay at the inn in my own town, that's stupid. I never played Kirby Dream Land 3. I should. I really should. Hell, dog, have you played, uh... Have you played Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light? Oh, you're going for food, okay. Uh, let's talk to this guy and save. And I guess we can move on. I'm gonna check the, um, I'm gonna check this, uh, store here. This sword's what I got on. Don't really need a bow. These seem common enough, so I'll just sell them. Let's make our way out into the world, because like I said, this game's beginning is supposed to be rather difficult, so I don't want to rush it. Oh, there's our northern cave, though. Why are you just standing in the dark? I was told to expect you. Go on through, and be careful in there. Caves are pitch black. Do you have a torch to let you wear? 
Blood Bat. Oh, that's great. Oh, I just destroyed it. I must need to my next level anyway. 15 EXP. I got another potion. Hey, a phoenix down brings you back from the dead. Eat shit, blood bat. Oh, I think Genesis left. That's sad. Oh, what is this? Whoa! Careful, Sassarain. Without magic, you'll never beat defeat beasts like that. I guess I'm gonna have to help you out. I'll just boost my AP and conjure up some spells. It's a minotaur. Oh, he's vulnerable. His horn's broken. That's cool. Oh. The beast's horn's is broken. He's angry now. Might want to say he's really pissed off. That hurt. He crits me, what an asshole. Give me an amethyst and two rubies. And I leveled up with or something. Sasser, it's too dangerous for you here. Go back to Horn. Okay. No. Fuck off, silly. No way, I came here to do a job. I'm going to see it through. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. It's also gonna go get food. Oh, we got two characters now. Silly's all five. What a cheater. Oh, you gotta have the tome with you to cast a spell? Interesting. That's an odd way to do it. Level three now, though. Welcome back! Oh, Mike and Eds. I recognize these guys. I got a potion from beating that. Oh, I could crit that one. Okay, so you get EXP in these as you defeat the monsters. So if you defeat two monsters and run away, you still get the EXP for those two monsters. Um, unless it tells you you get them and you don't actually get it till the end of the fight, in which case that'd be weird. Fuck you, lizard man. So can I not pick my targets? Is it, uh... Is it like that? Another phoenix down. 
Hey, Lonk, welcome back! We finished off Dragon Quest Monsters, and now we're working on our next, our, la our probably last Final Fantasy game. Yeah, I leveled up again. Look at that. We're level four now. Welcome back, Wintrig. Maybe that's what the uh, Switch game will be like, uh, Helldog. Oh, I got a hatchet. Hang on, I gotta equip that on Sassari. Fuck yeah. I'm Iron Eater now. I trained in the art of the sword all my life. And can now use an axe. How's your day been so far, Toonlonk? You missed out on the end boss of the, uh... Dragon Warrior Monsters kicking the crap out of me. That is a good way to uh, stop the recording here.